Uh, I'm Mark Ellison. I work for the Wyoming State Forestry Division and we're back here at the Adams property and we found a tree that was hit by mountain pine beetle. So we're going to talk about some of the uh, treatment options for landowners that find uh, trees infested with mountain pine beetle on their property. This tree was one that we actually missed that we didn't spray with uh, preventative spray to prevent infestation so it was successfully attacked by mountain pine beetle. As you can see there are pitch tubes on this section of the tree. There's also boring dust um, that's created from the beetle as it bores into the tree. So if you see the pitch tube and you see boring dust that usually indicates that the, the beetle was able to get into the tree and is colonizing the tree. Um, Next thing we did was we chipped into the bark and we did find the beetle galleries and developing larvae or eggs that the beetle had, had laid. So at that point uh, we realized that this tree was successfully infested. The tree um, will um, have developing beetles in it that will likely um, fly the following summer and probably likely infest more trees. So we wanted to prevent that continuation of uh, infestation on the property and so what we did is we cut this tree down we sectioned it off into five or six foot sections now we're going to move these sections out into an open area where the sun can can heat the bark heat the cambium where the beetles are developing and hopefully kill most of the developing larvae um, so they can't uh, turn into beetles or um, develop into beetles and fly the following year. Uh, what you'll also find sometimes on trees that have been successfully hit with beetles is through the winter you'll see uh, woodpeckers and other birds start to um, chip into the tree, peck into the tree because they're looking for the developing larvae um, which they will consume. And so if you hear woodpecker activity on your property that's usually a good indicator that you might have mountain pine beetle in some of your trees. So go out and check for that in the winter and if you do find them you can cut those trees down and section them off, move them into a sunny area and that hopefully will um, kill the developing beetles. Uh, you can also cover it with plastic that's shown to work pretty well um, too. It's more labor intensive if you've got a fairly um, large number of trees that have been infested it can be a lot of work to cover them all with plastic so just sectioning them off getting them out in the sun is usually good enough um, most of the experts recommend that you do roll the logs every couple months so you're heating both sides of the log um, you can also burn them as, as firewood uh, you could pile them and burn them in in piles um, make sure you're not piling them next to trees make sure you have adequate snow cover before you uh, light the piles off. Uh, you can haul them off to a landfill. Um, you can also chip them, um, but being fairly large trees, um, it's pretty hard to find a large chipper. Uh, you can also, if you've got a, a, a large area that's been infested, you could sell the trees to a contractor, a logger who could come in, cut the trees, take them into town, and actually mill the trees into boards or some other product. So there's, there's several options available to landowners. Um, a lot of them are fairly labor intensive um, and so you really want to prevent your trees from getting infested in the first place. So the preventative spraying with insecticide is definitely um, your, should be your number one priority and then if you do have a few trees that get infested that maybe you missed with the spraying then you have a, a few other options available to treat um, those trees that have the developing beetles in them.